YouTube, welcome back. Um, today we'll start a new series. Today we will start a series to talk about Nest.js. Um, in this video, I will talk about what is Nest.js, why do we need it, and um, how it works. So basically, I will go through all the key points that we will try to uh, discuss in the upcoming videos that which are related to Nest.js. So um, Nest.js is a progressive Node.js framework for building efficient, reliable, and scalable server-side applications. It's built with a f and uh, it's uh, it's built with and fully supports supports TypeScript, yet still enables developers to code in pure JavaScript. But it's better to work with TypeScript, and uh, combines elements of object-oriented programming, which is OOP, functional programming with FP, which which is short for FP and functional reactive programming was if rp and in the future i will make videos what is a programming what is or, uh, object oriented programming what is functional programming and what is uh, functional reactive programming um why do we let's talk about why do we need it like what why do we need the uh, why do we need the uh, nest js and i will say the first thing that it's the structure and the scalability. So let's let's. So first, Nest.js provides an out-of-the-box application architecture which allows developers and teams to create a highly testable, scalable, loosely coupled, and easily maintainable applications. And the second thing that we need, why do we need um, Nest.js? is the support for TypeScript and uh, um, uh, Nest.js fully uh, uh, fully TypeScript support with integrated type checking and to higher reliability um, is a major advantage especially for large scale projects um, also we have the modality so Nest.js Nest .js models help organize the code in modular way making it more uh, reusable and understandable also uh, it's a great in when it comes to the dependency injection so uh, nest.js uses uh, a powerful dependency injection which is a di system which improves maintainability and testability by uh, decoupling components um, also we have the exten uh, extensive uh, we meant The extensible, uh, so uh, it can easily integrate with other libraries such as uh, Type O or um, ORM or Mangoes and others, allowing for easy database integration. So it's it's really extensible. Um, it's have the support for microservices. So NestJS support a variety of microservices communication strategies, including MGTT and uh, GP, uh, GRPC and uh, Rabbit, uh, Rabbit M MQ. So we have community ecosystem. This is the last thing that we could talk about. Um, the growing community around NestJS offer a wide range of uh, ready to use modules, plugins and um, and documentation and the great documentation they have really great documentation make it a, make it a easier for developers to adopt adopt and use um let's talk about how how it works or what are the key features in, of um, of nestgs so first i will talk about the architecture so um, NestJS follows a layered architecture sim uh, similar to Angular. It divides the application into controllers, providers, which is service, uh, services and modules. Um, also, um, we have the controllers. Uh, the controllers handle incoming request and return response. They are tied to a specific route and use services to uh, perform business uh, logic. We have the services or the providers, which uh, they are encapsulate business logic and can uh, be in, uh, injected into controllers and other services, promoting code uh, reuse and uh, separation of the uh, um, uh, concerns. Concerns. We have the modules. Let's go like that. Okay, we have the modules, and uh, 
and uh, the models they are uh, organized application structured each model is uh, a cohesive block of code with uh, a tightly related set of capabilities like a feature in your application we have the middleware so uh, an SGS allows uh, the use of middleware which are functions that have access to the uh, request and response objects and the next middleware function is the applications request response cycle also we will talk about the the pipes and the uh, interceptors so um, um, they provide um, aspect oriented programming feature allowing you to run your code before or after method execution um, and to transform and validate um, input data which is the pipes um, dependency injection which is the DI Wait a minute So um, NestJS heavily relies on dependency injection, which is used to increase the uh, modularity and uh, flexibility of applications by decoupling components. Um, and also we have lastly microservices. Um, NestJS provide abstraction layered over different uh, microservice uh, patterns and uh, transports, allowing easy and uh, transparent creation of microservice architecture. So, in summary, NestJS is a versatile modular framework that promotes high quality code and architecture and making it an excellent choice for both small projects and large enterprise level applications. So, um, that's it for a quick uh, review of uh, NestJS. In the next video, we'll try to create our first um, NestJS uh, application and we go through a, a small introduction and after that, we try to break it down into small components. So that's it for this video and I hope you like my content. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and see you in future problem.